Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Advance Wars. Uh, today I'm actually going to start the very long process of going through all 12 of the Green Earth missions. Uh, four missions for each of the three Orange Star CEOs. Uh, the first CEO I'm going to use is Max. Uh, Max arguably has the easiest of the Green Earth missions, but um, the only reason I'm using him first is because... I am starting a new upload schedule for this project, and I'm now uploading four missions per week, and uh, I kind of want to ease into the upload schedule, so that's why I'm doing the easiest first. I was thinking about actually doing Sammy first, just to get her missions out of the way, but uh, her missions are a lot harder than Max's, so yeah, I felt like doing Max first. Anyways, we have a new CO opponent in this mission. Uh, we're going to be fighting Sea Admiral Drake from Green Earth. Uh, Drake's abilities are pretty obvious. He's obviously a sea specialist, which means his submarines, his cruisers, and his battleships are some of the toughest sea units in the entire game. And they can do a lot of firepower. And also, his all of his sea units actually get plus one movement. So I believe cruisers can move seven spaces... Submarines can move six bases, and I think it's six for battleships as well. I don't know off the top of my head. Anyways, very quickly going to turn on the visuals. And then I also need to talk about um, Drake's CO power. Um, also, uh, Drake's air units are the weakest in the game, so you do not want to use air combat when you're using Drake, so just keep that in mind. Anyways, Drake's CO power, Tsunami. Strikes all enemy units for damage, and um, that's pretty much what it does. It does one point of damage to every single opposing unit. So if uh, all my units have full health and Drake uses his CO power, then all of my units will have 9 HP. So it's a very annoying CO power, but it, those kind of powers get a lot more annoying in the second game. Uh, I believe Drake is the only one in this game that actually has an ability like that. But in the future, there's like, I think, five, well, five or four COs that have that kind of power. So, it does get worse in future games. I will say that much. But for this game, it's not really that big of a concern. It is only one point of damage, which isn't too much. But it can be annoying, especially if you're trying to, you know breeze through this mission, or any Drake mission for that matter. Anyways, this is probably the easiest of the Drake missions, because Drake really doesn't have very many forces. Like, he has a few units that are hidden down here, a few units hidden down here, and then a few subs, which I think are actually hidden on this turn. Uh, well, no, they can't start out that way, never mind, but... There are some subs, there are some cruisers, and I think there's only two battleships, and they both come from this direction, so uh, that is the bulk of what we'll have to deal with in this mission. And I believe there's a submarine over here I want to surprise when I get the chance. And I wouldn't worry about using your lander really at all. Like, I guess you could use it to lure some units out and towards a specific direction, but for the most part... Like, the lander is pretty useless in this mission. Anyways, let's go ahead and see what Drake's going to do for his first turn. Now's the time. I need to know if Orange Star was behind that black-hearted act. Anchors away. Yeah, I'm still kind of unsure what kind of voice to do for Drake. As I said before, I really don't want to use a pirate voice because he's really not a pirate. He's just a sea captain. Captain doesn't always equal pirate, you know. But whatever, we'll figure that out as we go through the game, I guess. Anyways, there is a submarine over here I want to fish out. And then use my cruiser to destroy it. Okay, hopefully I can get done with this mission in two turns. Or, well, not two turns, I mean two videos, or less than two videos. I guess it really doesn't matter how... Well, damn, I didn't think about that. Okay, so, uh, this cruiser is gonna get attacked, unfortunately. 
Actually, I might go after the battleship if I park it over here. I'll go ahead and try it out. If not, I'll still be able to destroy this next turn. And in the meantime, I'm going to destroy this battleship. Just because it's there and because it looked at me funny. I hate when enemy units look at me funny. I should also mention that I think uh, uh, Drake has one of the best themes in the entire series. Probably not the best, like, overall, but I really do think his music, music theme is very catchy. It's kind of like happy sailing music. So yeah, it's kind of a cool theme if you ask me. Okay, let's go to the next turn. What's that battleship gonna do? Oh wait, first you gotta use the CO power. I freaking hate Tsunami. Okay, I went after the cruiser, which is fine. I didn't expect it to go after the cruiser, but it's not a big deal, I guess. Anyways, because Drake is an idiot, he allowed me to destroy his battleship. Well, maybe not. Although his battleships are a lot weaker than normal, so I kind of should have expected that. Oh well, we'll see if we can destroy it this turn. Okay, there we go. That's not too bad at all. And now I can use this to defeat the cruiser. Now, I know there is a submarine down here, but I'm not going to worry about it just yet. Because I believe there is also a battleship over here. And there is. Okay, so let's move over here. And get ready to trounce on it. I need to lure that sub out somehow. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that. I'll move this guy over here, just in case. And let's see what Drake's going to do this turn. Day three. Okay, the fog is cleared, and there's that submarine I knew was over here. First, though, let's defeat this cruiser. Wait, can I actually use my submarine to take out the cruiser, or should I use my battleship? I don't think that'll be enough, so I'm going to do this first. Kill the sub. Kill the cruiser. And yes, I know there's a, another cruiser over here. I'll have to wait a few extra turns to defeat, but... Eh, that's the tricky thing about this mission. Time is really the only... Or, well, not time. Speed is really the hardest thing to get an S rank for, but since I only lost one unit and I'm going to defeat all of his units, that shouldn't be too much of a concern if I take an extra turn or so. Okay, so... I think that cruiser is all he has left, actually. And, of course, it's not going to do anything. And I hate the rain. That's something else it kind of randomly does during Drake's missions. It just randomly decides to rain for some reason. It doesn't really explain that, but whatever. Anyways. I'm actually going to rise you so you don't run out of fuel. And next turn should be the last turn. Okay, I moved forward for some reason. Oh, wait. Damn it. I know why I did that. I did that so I couldn't attack it. Wow, that guy is actually being really smart. Oh, well. I'll just capture the HQ if I need to. I probably don't have to, but I have that option now. And I'll just move you here. And let's finish this mission. Boom! 
Boom! A job well done. You've beaten me. You're a green Ursio? That I am. I wanted to find some answers here, but all I've netted are more questions. I'll be seeing you again, lad. You were so close. Okay, whatever. Anyways, not sure if that's a perfect S rank, but it's an S rank. And we also rank up to an Ebon Hen. 